our first guest is a whole lot of fun. She's an Emmy-nominated actress who you know from Community and Drake and Josh. Give it up for Yvette Nicole Brown. How are you? Thank you so much for oh, being it's here. It's such an honor to be here, and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. So proud. So, the yes. two of us go way back. We do. To Dream Girls. We do, allegedly, we go back to Dream Girls. Now, this is something you may not even know. Uh -huh. So, guys, before Jennifer, Oscar winner, uh, was Effie, I auditioned. Yes? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I auditioned for Effie. You did? Way in the beginning, way before, long, long. And so for the longest time, they hadn't cast you yet. Uh -huh. So Bill Condon would call and go, Yvette, can you come in and do a screen test with someone? Can you come in and do a storyboard for the movie? So we were, me and two other people were popping in, doing stuff until you guys all got cast. And so, yeah, so I was there. And Bill Condon, wonderful, gave us each a role in the film. Now, you haven't seen me in Dream Girls because <laughs> my part was cut. <laughs> um, all that remains is a picture of me walking with Jamie Foxx across the lobby in a horrible uh, polyester suit and a bad... There I am. Ooh, they found a picture. <laughs> um, so that's from the director's cut because I got cut out of the film. But yeah, that's my dream girl story. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is... So yeah. you almost took my role. I, girl, can't nobody take no role from you? Are oh, you crazy? Oh, no, no. I'm like, she Listen, almost stole my role, Jennifer, I was in the theater. And you know, you, you know, you lose a role, so you're sad. So I was in the theater, and you... you the first note of, and I'm telling you, I said, well, that's why she got it. <laughs> I can't feel bad. She about to win an Oscar. I just knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yes. Yeah. And, and you started in the business doing commercials first? I did. I was... Uh, years ago, I did... Um, well, one of the first big ones I did was um, Big Lots. Oh. You guys remember Big Lots, a great discount store? Um, and the funny thing about me and commercial... Yes! First thing I ever did. God, it was like 20-some years ago. Um, <laughs> the thing about commercials, every audition I didn't know, you're not supposed to make up your own lines. You're supposed to... You're supposed to honor what the writer wrote. I would go in and go, well, I would, since I'm here, I might as well just say something funny. <laughs> and that's how I got the commercial. They were like, she's, she's silly, let's bring her in. And so that's how I booked so many commercials back in the day. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. What did you do with your first big check? Um, I probably still have some of my money from that first. So you ain't spending it? I'm from, listen, I'm from Cleveland. We are very frugal. Very frugal. What? Yes. I literally, I think when I got big lots, I was still like, you know, harnessing money to pay the light bill and stuff. So uh -huh. I think I paid my light bill. That's all you did? I think I did. I think I paid my light bill. You... And I bought, I bought a car. I bought a car the day before our show was canceled. The first show I was on got canceled. That's why I don't spend money, because I bought the car, came in with the bow and the keys, and they were like, um, yeah, we, we want to talk to you on the living room set. And I was like, well, this ain't, this ain't gonna be good. And uh, we got canceled, so now I don't spend money. Well, I can't don't blame you for that. Don't believe it. Well, tell me about this Twitter boyfriend, Chris uh -huh. Evans. How did that come about? Well, you know, I did a little, sh a little movie called uh, Avengers Endgame. I don't know if you guys saw it. Mm. it was in an elevator. Yeah, yeah. With Captain America and uh, Iron Man. And, you know, I kind of was kind of... I, I flirted a little bit, so I was flirting online a little bit with uh, Chris Evans. And he wrote back with, like, a little kissy face. And I said, well, you know what I mean? We go together, right? That's... <laughs> the kissy face is binding. It's binding. <laughs> and so he said, fine with me. And so I, I have him, his heart, only on Twitter. That's the only place oh, I, can, okay. I can throw some elbows. Everywhere else, he's allowed to love whoever he wants. Now, 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 you know Lizzo is claiming that? him... What? Lizzo what? claiming him what? Who? on Twitter, too. What you got to look at that? Something. Lizzo what you got not to say on about Twitter, that? Lizzo, is what I got to say. And she yeah. can have Instagram or MySpace. You can't have Twitter. You, you, uh, <laughs> she's got a man anyway. I heard she's happy with a man. She's happy now. <laughs> Tell her, leave your man alone. Leave my man alone, Lizzo. you're not going <laughs> when I... <laughs> let her know. See, yeah, see how she just twisted the knife with the little and not going... <laughs> and told you and broke my heart already. All right, go on. So, you love Abbott Elementary. Oh, God, I love and Abbott. And you're trying to manifest a role. I am. You know, I know Quinta. I just don't think she hear me when I've been begging for this role. I've been on Twitter like, Quinta, come on, put me in. Let me be the guidance counselor, the music teacher, or something. You, you might want to say a lot of because you know she, they, they film, film on here? this line. Wh which camera can I get to? Which, which get all of them. Get, uh, get all of them. De dear Quinta, my name is Yvette. I would love to be on your show. <laughs> there you go. You hear that? All right, we'll be right back. She said what she said. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.